We're here today with Tom Kenyon, GM of Innovise Capital. Tom, thanks okay. for your time. No worries, thank you. Firstly, in the business now, setting up a fund, what will, what's the drivers of the fund? The driver is trying, so Innovise is the company that uh, commercialised Titomic, commercialised right at the very early days KTIG as well, and now we're bringing Amero to market, which is coming out of Monash University. And the way we fund those things at the moment is we do program by program. So small, small packets of money, a small group of investors, uh, and they're in at the very early stages. And of course, in those cases, they've, they've done the best. Um, what we would like to do is have a, a much broader funding regime with a much more consistent tax um, regime as well. So under the early stage uh, venture capital limited partnership regime, um, there's, it, after 12 months, it's capital gains tax free. So it's very attractive for investors. Um, and, but we are able to apply that to every company that we create rather than trying to use the ESIC regime at the moment, what we do. Um, so being able to provide a, a broader access to a lot more investors, and we're currently working with about 25 investors and we want to open that up to a much broader range. Uh, and the fund gives us the opportunity to do that. The fund gives us a consistent tax treatment, uh, which is quite generous. And then that gives us a bit of security into the future as well in terms of funding programs over a number of years so that we're able to just keep going out and find the best ideas in their universities and research institutions and turn them into good companies. And does it also help walking into those discussions knowing there's capital behind you Absolutely. as opposed to walking in going, trust us to go and find the capital? Yeah, that's right. And that's right. That's exactly right. That's um, what we've found is that, you know, we've been able to start to rely on our track record now because that's becoming quite good. But to be able to walk in the door with knowing that there's cash behind you and that you can move really, really quickly if you see something really exciting, that, that, that will be, um, that will <laughs> take a weight off our shoulders really, it'd be great. And what about the type of investments? Are there certain sectors, investment types that really stand out for you? Yeah, we're really interested, we're starting to really focus down on advanced materials and manufacturing and also the circular economy, waste and recycling, that sort of area. They're both um, heavily interrelated, a lot of crossover between those two themes. Um, but we also think they're the themes of the future in, in many ways. And universities seem to be a focus. Where's the opportunity there? So universe, so we, we have a special, uh, an unusual way of working compared to uh, most accelerators or commercialisation organisations in that we specifically look for people who don't want to run a company. And because we run the company, we set it up and run it. But what that means is that, you know, there's every year, there's literally billions of dollars being spent on research right around the country. And most academics or researchers don't want to go into business. They've spent you know, decades becoming um, experts in their fields and they want to stay there and they want to keep working within the university environment doing their research. But they often think they have some research that is, you know, should be out in the open, should be uh, commercialised, but they don't want to do it. And so because we're prepared to do that management role, we are able to go in there and find that. And there's um, those ideas, there's so many of them out there, there's so many brilliant researchers in this company, in this country who are doing such great work uh, that we're just uh, so excited by the opportunities that are out there. And do you see the other opportunity or differential with your fund being not passive? Yeah, we think the fund, um, you generally funds sit there and, and wait and, and there's no shortage of people pitching to funds. Um, but what that means is those fund managers need to sit there and wade through you know, hundreds of applications per year or pitches per year. Whereas we're basically creating our own deal flow. So we're going out, picking the ideas that we want and we want to bring to market, uh, working them up through our formal program, which takes about nine months. And then they're ready for investment at the end of that. And, um, and then we're able to invest into them quite quickly. So we, we think that if we, can, um, if we can target the best ideas, keep the deal flow quite tight, but very quality controlled, uh, that, that will be a standout from other funds and the way they work. And as you say, you do have a very strong track record. Yeah, we do. And we've, uh, it's getting better as we go and we learn more and, and we um, uh, start to build out our networks of investors and, and um, technical people as well. We're really starting to build up a strong network of people who can assist us on the technical side. Uh, but we've got uh, Titomic was one we worked with early on. Uh, KTIG we worked with on a very, very early on as well. On both of those companies, we got them to a point and then handed over to their management and they've, they've been running them. Uh, and Amero will do the same. You know, we'll get it to a point and then we'll hand it over to a, a capable management team. And that's, um, and that's a pretty good track record. I mean, we're probably anticipating a little bit Amero because we're still in the pre-IPO stage. 
and you know all the risk can come in that you know but um, but we're confident of that and we hope that uh, that will go well and that will just add to the momentum that we're building at the moment so it's not about the number of deals it's about the quality of the deals it is about the quality and um, we look for big ideas in big markets you know that with a lot of potential to change things rapidly around the world and um, and and that's what we're hunting for. So we're looking for, what we're finding is there's sort of a, an uh, um, unsatisfied hunger in Australia and amongst the investor community for hard tech, you know, for, um, in the case of KTIG, for instance, a welding technology that massively reduces the cost of welding. In the case of Titomic, it's a breakthrough in the way of metal printing and getting the speed up. And Amero, you know, it's a, just a quality uh, way of, of producing parts using 3D printing. And, um, but there's a real hunger amongst investors to invest in manufacturing and advanced materials because um, you know, tech is fantastic and it's really incredible, uh, added incredible productivity across our economy, um, but there's lots and lots of people doing it. And even after all of that uh, tech stuff is done, we still need to make things. We still need product, you know, and um, it, it's actually the products and, and those hard tech things that really drive the wealth of an economy and there's a real hunger in Australia to invest in that sort of thing. So we think we're in that right spot in the market uh, and that's what we love doing. Exciting times ahead, fund just forming but with a strong track record of genuine success. Look forward to seeing how it goes. Tom, yeah, thanks, thanks for your time. Yeah, we're really excited. Thank you.